Chapter 5 Upgrading Presentation Learning Outcomes At the end of this chapter, students will be able to Insert the objects in the placeholder Add word art, smart art and shapes in a presentation Do animations and transitions in a presentation Warm up Naman and Akhil have been told to complete the task they have managed to do so but are unable to tell the name of the software application. Now it's your turn to join the dots to find the following software applications. Teachers note Ask students to name the above software application. Also tell them to recall MS PowerPoint application features which they learned in their previous class. Hello friends, let us make our presentations more engaging and powerful by adding word art, smart art, shapes, animations and transitions in our presentation. As we already know, Microsoft PowerPoint is a software application that allows you to create and show slides to support a presentation. In this chapter, we will learn how to use the right effects on text and objects to make our presentations more visual appealing and meaningful. Remember it! More than 500 million people use PowerPoint worldwide. Adding objects in a presentation. Placeholder A placeholder is a region surrounded by dotted borders on a slide. The first slide of a new presentation has to place holders on it by default. Different types of content, text and images can be added in a placeholder. Follow the following steps to add text to a placeholder. 1. Move the cursor to the click to add title placeholder and click it. 2. Type the title of the presentation in the placeholder. 3. Likewise, move the cursor to the click, click to add subtitle placeholder and click it. Then type the subtitle of the presentation in the placeholder. Let me answer. What do you mean by word art? Editing text with word art. Word art is a feature that creates text effects which are not available through font formatting. Adding word art to the slides makes them attractive. Follow the following steps to insert word art. 1. Select the text in the placeholder. 2. Click the format tab. Click the drop down arrow next to the word art styles. 3. A list of word art styles will appear. Click on the desired style. 4. Observe the change in the text. Follow the following step to apply the text effect. 1. Select the text in the placeholder. 2. Click the format tab in the word art style group. Click the text effect. 3. From the drop down list box, select the desired text. 4. Observe the change in the text. Let me answer. What shapes are available in MS PowerPoint? Inserting shapes. In MS PowerPoint, a range of shapes are available that can be added to the presentation. Adding shapes to the slide enhance the appearance of the presentation. Follow the following steps to insert shapes to a slide. 1. Click on the Insert tab. 2. In the Illustrations group, select the Shape button. 3. From the drop-down menu, select the shape you want to add. 4. To draw the desired shape, click and drag the mouse on the slide. 5. Release the mouse button. 6. The chosen shape will appear on the slide. Follow the following steps to rotate and resize the shape. 1. Click the shape you want to modify. 2. Sizing handles will appear on the corners. Drag one of them to get the desired size. 3. Similarly, move the rotating handle on the top of the rotate and desired shape. Adding text to the shape. In PowerPoint, text can also be added to any shape. Follow the following step to add text in a shape. 1. Select the shape in which you want to add the text. 2. Right click on it and a pop-up menu will appear. 3. Click on the edit text option and the text to the shape. Inserting smart art. 
One of the features of PowerPoint is Smart Art. A Smart Art graphic is a visual representation of information and ideas as well as numeric values or data. Follow the following steps to insert Smart Art. 1. Go to the slide where you want the Smart Art graphic to appear. 2. Click on the Insert tab. 3. In the Illustration group, select the Smart Art button. 4. A dialog box to the Smart Art graphic will appear. 5. Select the category and type from the list. 6. Double click on the desired Smart Art to insert a graphic in the slide. 7. The Smart Art graphic will appear along with the text placeholder. 8. Insert the text as you wish to. Animations and Transitions When you watch an animated film, the scenes keep coming one after the other. Have you ever wondered why? This is because of the transitions. The same effect can be done in a PowerPoint presentation also by a slight transition. Do you know? Email call is referred to as the father of the animated cartoon. Slide transition. Transitions are animation effect which can be applied to slides. The way one slide allows the other on the screen in a presentation is called transition. When a slide enters or exits during the slide show, we may adjust the speed of each transition and even add sound. Let us explore the transition styles found on transition tab. Subtle transition, exciting transitions, dynamic content. Follow the following steps to apply slide transitions. 1. Select the desired slide from the slide navigation pane on which you want to apply the transition. 2. Click on the transition tab. 3. Click on the drop down button to see all transitions. 4. Choose the transition effect of your choice. 5. A preview of the transition effect appears in the slide area. 6. Click on apply to all option from the timings group. Applying animations to the text and the objects. Transition and slide animation are similar, however, slide animations apply to specific elements on a single slide. A title chart, image or individual bullet point. Animation makes a presentation look attractive and eye-catchy. Let us explore the four types of animation available. Entrance. These animations manage how an object enters a slide. Emphasis. Specific contents are highlighted using these animations. Exit. These animations manage how the object leaves the screen. Motion path. When an object follows the designated path, these animations are used to add animation. Follow the following steps to apply an animation to an object. 1. Select the desired object. 2. Click the animation tab and click on the more drop down arrow to view the available animation. 3. Select the animation effect from the entrance, exit or emphasis option. 4. Click the preview button to preview the applied animation effect. Get PsyQ Someone has 50 photographs in a folder which she wants to add in all the slides. Further, she wants to add animation effect to these slides. Suggest her the option to complete this task. Let's recall. A placeholder is a region surrounded by dotted borders on a slide. Adding shapes to the slide enhances the appearance of the presentation. In PowerPoint, text can also be added to any shape. A smart art graphic is a visual representation of information and ideas as well as numeric values or data. Transitions are animation effect which can be applied to slides. Upskill your intelligence. A. Fill in the blanks. 1. PowerPoint is a software application that allows you to create and show slides to support a dash. Answer. Presentation. 2. A dash is a region surrounded by dotted borders. Answer. Placeholder. 3. Dash is a visual representation of information and ideas. Answer. Smart art, graphic or infographics. 4. Dash animation manage how the objects leave the screen. 
answer animation effect 5 dash is a feature that creates test effect which are not available through font formatting answer transition effect b identify the following options in ms powerpoint answer 1 inserting shapes 2 format tab 3 applying smart art for animation effect c answer in one word one how many placeholders are there on the first slide of a new presentation answer three two in which tab do word art style present answer format tab three the way one slide follow the other on the screen in a presentation answer transition four this animation manages how an object enters a slide answer transition 5 in which group does the smart art button present answer illustration group d write t for true statements and f for false statements 1 text can be added to shapes answer true 2 transition and slide animations are similar answer false 3 entrance animation manage how the objects leave the screen answer false 4 we can adjust the speed of each transition answer true 5 multiple animation effects can be applied to an object answer true e answer the following questions 1 what do you mean by slight transition answer when you switch from one slide to the next during a presentation a slight transition takes place the pace the sound and the appearance of transition effects are all customizable two write the shapes to insert smart art answer click smart art under the illustration group on the insert tab choose the type and arrangement you want to clicking them in the choose a smart art graphic dialog box Choose one of the following methods to enter your text. Type your text by clicking text in the text pane. 3. How can we apply animation to text in objects? Press Ctrl and select the objects you want. Select format, group, group to group the objects together. Select animation and choose an animation. 4. Can we rotate a shape? If yes, then how? You can flip, rotate or resize. PowerPoint objects include text bones, text boxes, shapes and images. The item you want to rotate is tabbed. Choose the rotation handle at the object stop. Then move it in the desired direction. Choose arrange, rotate, flip, vertical or flip horizontal to flip an object. 5. What is a word art? Answer Word art is a feature that creates text effects which are not available through font formatting. Adding word art to the slides make them attractive. Critical thinking A. Naman has to make the food bed diagram. For it, he wants to show the relationship between different animals. He wants to display the same using cycle form. Suggest to her the ways to achieve the task. Answer. Student will do it themselves. B. Unscramble the letters to form a correct word. Answer. 1. Placeholder. 2. Slide. 3. Presentation. 4. Text. 5. Shapes. Team. Work. Find out the information on COVID-19 and make a presentation utilizing all the features learned in Microsoft PowerPoint. Answer. Student will do it themselves.